Today I'm going to show how to install Shark Racing's spoiler end caps for 2019 to 2022 Veloster N vehicles. When you receive the package, you'll get two spoiler caps, eight screws, and eight round vinyl screw cover decals. A link to the product will be in the description below. We purchased these because my wife wanted to add a bit more flair and width to the factory spoiler and didn't want to spend over $1,000 on a carbon fiber spoiler. For two reasons. One, that's too much in our opinion for a spoiler, and two, she didn't want carbon fiber. The spoiler caps come with a carbon fiber wrap. Since my wife didn't want a carbon fiber look, she chose to remove the vinyl wrap from the end caps. This was easy to do and didn't leave any residue or marks on the caps. So we could get the positioning of the caps on the factory spoiler correct, we used 3M double-sided tape to help attach the caps to the factory spoiler. This made the process easier than one person holding a cap and the other person trying to eyeball where the cap should be screwed into. After getting each cap positioned, we looked over both sides and made sure they were positioned the same. Now that the caps were positioned, I used a small 3 seconds drill bit to drill three holes in the first cap. You'll receive four screws for each side, but we chose to only use three. Two screws for the rear of the cap and one for the front. After I drilled three holes in one side, I took that cap over to the other side, flipped it, and used it as a template to drill three holes on the other side. This way, both sides had the same holes in the same location. Be careful not to drill too deep into the factory spoiler. I took the caps over to my workbench and used a quarter inch drill bit to countersink the holes. This way, the screw would sit flush in the spoiler. I had to do this because I didn't have a countersink drill bit at the time. With the carbon vinyl removed, we chose to paint the caps gloss black. We started this process by using 600 grit sandpaper and lightly sanding the edge and front of each cap. Next, we clean the caps with alcohol. We chose to use Rust-Oleum primer, paint, and clear for this project. After the caps were cleaned, we sprayed the caps with primer. Next, we sprayed the caps with gloss black paint. Finally, we finish the process by spraying the caps with a glossy clear coat. The paint timeline goes as follows. Primer, two coats, 20 minutes apart each coat. Then wait one hour after the second coat of primer before you spray the first coat of paint. Wait another hour and then spray your second coat of paint. Finally, one hour after that, you'll apply one coat of clear coat. Finally, let the paint dry for a minimum of 24 hours before installing the caps on the car. Since the caps were now painted gloss black, we couldn't use the supplied carbon fiber vinyl screw caps. So my wife printed six glossy black vinyl circles to cover the screws. With the paint dry and the screw caps printed, it was time to install the spoiler caps. We installed three of the supplied screws into the caps. Make sure the screws poke out of the back of the cap slightly. Next, we lined up the screws with the pre-drilled holes. Finally, we screwed each screw into the factory spoiler. We alternated between each screw so the cap flushed up against the factory spoiler evenly. 
After the cap was flush with the factory spoiler, we installed the three vinyl screw caps. We repeated this process for the other side. Once both sides were securely fastened and the screw covers were installed, the installation process was complete. My wife was very happy with the results. The caps look nice and are a good alternative to buying a whole new spoiler. They added just enough width to make the factory spoiler look sportier. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content. This really helps the channel.